Hey gang, in this video we're quickly covering how to use anchors in your spreadsheet formulas. Now, even though I'm about to demonstrate this in Google Sheets, you can actually use anchors in both Google Sheets and Microsoft Excel. So looking at this donation table that we have over here, all of the gift amounts or donation amounts have been summed in cell B11. So when I click on the cell, you can see the formula up here that's calculating the total gifts in this whole table. Now, let's say I also want to calculate the total gifts in this area down here in cell B14. So to do that, one of the things I can do is simply copy and paste the formula that's up here. But when I do that, you can see that the numbers changed. So what exactly is happening? If you look in the cell and look at your formula, you'll see the answer. So looking up here, the formula isn't calculating the same range that this cell is here. So basically, instead of looking at B2 to B10, which would be the correct sum formula calculation, it's looking at B5 to B13. So why is that happening? Basically, whenever you copy a formula, depending on where you paste it, your references will move in the same increments. So the fact that we copied and pasted this formula three cells down means all of the references also moved three cells down. So this is where anchors come in. I will just empty out this cell. And before I copy and paste the formula, I'll add my anchors, which are these dollar signs. So notice that I'm adding an anchor before each part of the reference. So that includes the column letter and the row number because I want both the columns and the rows to lock when I copy and paste my formula down. Okay, so here's the formula now with our anchors. I will do the same copy and paste that I did earlier. And there you go. So you can see we have B14 selected and the reference has the anchors and is the same as the reference in cell B11, which is what we wanted. So using the same example, let's say I wanna move this same sum formula up here to this adjacent summary table. So I'll copy and paste like I did before. And this time, instead of seeing our references shift, we're actually getting a reference error. So anytime you see that um, pound sign slash ampersand, no, not an, it's not an ampersand. So anytime you see that pound sign or the hashtag sign, if that's what you call it, followed by a ref, it basically means that there's an error with the reference that it can't actually calculate the formula. So not a huge deal, we'll use our anchors again. Okay, anchors have been added, we'll copy and paste. And there we go, no reference errors and the references are correct. So that's how you use anchors, super quick and easy. Um, the only hard thing is remembering to use them before you start copying and pasting all over your spreadsheet. If this video was helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And for more tips, be sure to subscribe to my channel.